If you're watching this channel, I want to help you improve your style. I don't want you to feel like you're just watching videos, making mood boards, shopping, trying, but never like feeling like you're actually getting somewhere or growing in this positive direction. And because I am trained as a social scientist, I always think about things in terms of models. So I have my own model for the style journey, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So the style journey is just the gradual process of you developing like an aesthetic, but also a style process, which makes sense for who you are as a person. And first of all, we can all agree that style is just like any other area of personal growth, whether that's finances, fitness, hobbies, whatever, it just requires three inputs, your strategy, your time and your effort. Basically, if you have a good approach, and you're willing to put in the work, eventually you're going to get the result where you want to go over time. So what is the strategy when it comes to improving your style? This is the part where different people have their own opinion, right? Everybody agrees, like time, effort, strategy makes sense, but what's the solution? So I often see people approaching style kind of like a linear process, like you just have to figure things out and then it's going to be done. Like you figure out your colors, you get your body type, your essences, and that's it. Style is all done. But for me, style is really not this linear process, but it's like a cycle or like a spiral, I guess. And there are four stages of the style cycle I'm going to talk about. But first, I want to explain why is it a cycle? It's because it's not like we just go through each stage once and then never come back to it because we're on to the next thing. Rather, we go through that same process many times and each time we do it in a new way, we gain new insights and we grow in terms of our style expression. So the style cycle starts with insight, which is a time of new awareness. Then we move into exploration, which is a time for new horizons. Then we move into growth, which is a time for new habits and new pieces. And then finally, we land in integration, which is a time for enjoyment and experiencing. And then eventually we move right back into the insight. So let's talk about these stages one by one so you can see which one best matches your current situation and what you should be focusing on. So stage one is insight and new awareness. This insight is something that can come out of the blue one day like, oh, I got a new job and I have to change my wardrobe. Or it can come slowly like, okay, I feel like I've just kind of outgrown the aesthetic I used to enjoy or style just doesn't feel fulfilling anymore. Either way, this is a crucial stage of the style process because it's about gaining the courage and the determination to actually make the style change. And during the stage, it's important to be mindful of your current style needs and your style process, like how you are doing things. What's already good for you? What's already working? You're not starting from scratch, right? So for example, your body may have gone through some really big changes and then you realize, okay, I need a whole new wardrobe. But that doesn't mean that you're starting at zero because you've done a lot of work before to find the colors you like, to find the favorite types of accessories you enjoy wearing, the way you put together outfits or get dressed in the morning. All of this is coming with you, but perhaps you're not happy with your previous outfit templates anymore, kind of the shapes they used to wear no longer work for your new body that's the area of insight where you're like this needs to change during this phase you want to note what feels wrong what's confusing what's stressful and yeah you also want to note what feels good what's helpful and what's useful most importantly you want to set a goal based on all these observations and the more simple the goal the more manageable it is for example find some new outfit formulas for my new body is a really good goal in the body change example or Bring some more sweetness into my style is a really good goal if you want to change your aesthetic because you grew out of the previous one. Something like finding my ultimate dream perfect style usually is like way too ambitious of a goal and it's hard to really realize into action. So next up we have stage two, which is exploration and new horizons. The motto for the stage is let me see what's out there. This is a really delicate and fun time. And the important thing is not to stress yourself out. So in this stage, you are exploring in the direction of your dreams. It's not about going out into the world and making, you know, a thousand mood boards in every direction because that's overwhelming. You want to go out into the world with focus. You want to focus the exploration. So for example, if you wanted to bring sweetness into your style, like we mentioned, you could find new brands, influencers, aesthetics, which feel sweet to you. So you're looking into that world of fashion, but with a specific focus. 
You could try on different styles and color schemes, again, looking for that sweet feeling. This is a time for relaxing your former rules and boundaries. So for example, you may have never been allowing yourself to wear pink or purple because those colors felt like too cute. But now you can try something like pink scarf, purple socks, bringing those colors in. And that's what the stage is about. It's about that like gentle opening, curiosity, open-minded approach. You're not here to find answers at this point. Your goal is not to nail down the exact shade of pink that you feel comfortable wearing or to decide like once and for all, what is my style going to look like? You don't need to rush into decisions. You're going to remove the pressure. You're going to give yourself the opportunity to just like connect with new experiences and to reflect. So perhaps you spend a few months exploring some sweet details, like you paint your nails in soft colors, you get pastel colored socks, you get a sweet blouse with a bow, and then eventually you can notice, okay, which items do you enjoy reaching for or which ones feel a bit off? And the answers kind of start to emerge organically as a result of this stress-free exploration. And then it's time for stage three, which is growth, new items and new habits. So shifting from stage two to three is definitely big. You're moving from a place of like no pressure, exploration, open-minded to a place of like making commitments, making decisions, deciding on stuff. And it can feel tough, but you have to do it. Because updating your style requires a commitment. It requires for you to make some choices. Otherwise, you're just stuck in dreamland forever, right? It's really, really important in this space not to be too perfectionistic, too restrictive, so that you can actually buy literal things while at the same time staying true to your intention and honoring the discoveries from your exploration phase. It is a tricky balance for sure. And I think what helps is to go slow. Don't try to get six new outfits at once, but rather aim to just get one new outfit or a couple of pieces. This stage is about incorporating these new items into your wardrobe and about getting more and more clear on your preferences. During this space, it's also important to focus not only on getting the new stuff, but also on getting new style habits. So for example, if your style journey is about giving yourself permission to explore sweetness, then the part of the growth is about letting go of the inner criticism. It's about focusing on your inner joy, focusing on your experience of the clothes, perhaps taking more photos of the clothes, maybe using a closet app to help keep track of your progress. All of this is part of the growth phase. It's updating our beliefs and our behaviors, not just updating the wardrobe. And this phase takes energy. So it is important to give yourself time, give yourself space to make these desired changes happen. Cause it's like you're going from these vague ideas into the physical tangible reality of things on your body. At some point, I feel like the growth phase settles down the biggest like holes in your wardrobe have been filled and then you enter stage four, which is integration and enjoyment. My motto for this phase is my style is here for me. You've put in the work to get the new stuff and now you let yourself actually enjoy it. I feel like a lot of us just wanna breeze right past this and start thinking about the next thing, but this phase is so important. It's about using the things you own, making sure you actually wearing those new cool things maintaining the style routines that make you happy, right? So if you discover that you enjoy feeling put together, then maybe you put in like daily time to fix your hair and your makeup, get your nails done. And then maybe you're sick for a couple of weeks, but then you just come right back into it when you can, right? So it's really sticking with all the things that you know work for you. And you can still update your closet in this phase, especially if you have a specific occasion or an item needs to be replaced or like, oh, you just see something and it fits in, right? It's not like a no buy phase, but the goal is to shift focus away from like, what more can I get? What more can I get? And into enjoying the things that you have, practicing the gratitude for those things and slowing it down. I think it's also really important to make this time for reflections, right? you got these new things, you updated your wardrobe, what does that do for you? You know, what you did the work, what's the reward? Do your outfits help you feel more confident and work? Have your outfits actually helped you feel more comfortable with your body? Have you brought that sweetness that you were deserving? Do you find it easier to be authentically you? So, you know, big reflections. So it takes work to notice them and to actually give yourself the credit, but this is like the payoff for the style effort. So taking the time to notice, enjoy and integrate is a really important part of actually feeling like you're moving forward and getting somewhere with style. 
And then of course, at some point, the integration ends and a new insight appears. It could be a year later, it could be a couple of months later. And if you're newer in the style journey, the insight probably is big, like, oh, okay, I do like this, but I really don't like how I'm using color. So I realized like what I need is to figure out like my approach to color. If you've been at style for a longer time, the insight could be something small, like, oh, I just feel like I'm holding myself back a bit and I want to embrace more. I just want more. Even if you've been on the style journey for a long time, you can still get really big insights and you wanna make big changes. And that's the beauty of the style cycle and the beauty of style. It never ends, we're never done, just as with life and our growth in general. And the important thing is just to keep flowing with it and to honor our needs, right? Style is always evolving, just like us. We never need to have it all figured out because life will always surprise us with changes anyway. And you don't need to fix all of your problems, all of your challenges, all of your struggles in one go, because there's always gonna be another cycle to go around. So if you made it this far and you would like help with your style cycle, I want to invite you to our style course called The Leap. It's a 12 week transformational style course. It's gonna start on January 14th. This is gonna be my third time organizing it. We're gonna have probably 25 people it is based around weekly style activities following the style cycle we talked about. The really amazing thing about the course, I think, is the community. We have a group of people who are all really excited about making progress with style and are all going through it together, even though everybody has their own style key. We have lots of group calls. We have a lot of opportunities just to connect with people and to work with me one on one. It really is like just an amazing course that helps you transform your style and your relationship to style and honestly like even your relationship with yourself so we have a super thorough course website with an overview so you can figure out like is this right for me i'm going to link it below for people who are interested and that's it for today i'll see you next time bye